Our Toy Store. Who wouldn't want their own toy store? And if you're on this channel, you're pretty much into toys. And crafting, because we have crafting, or crafts and toys, we craft for the toys. We made a toy shop for the toys, so the toys could go by toys. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a lot of toys. And to fill our toy store with toys, we had to collect a nice amount of little tiny toys. Hey, who are you calling tiny? Oh, come on, you are pretty small. I mean, here is a La La Loopsie mini. I mean, she's way bigger than you. <laughs> the La La Loopsie tinies are adorable, and they're perfect for this craft. So are these Littlest Pet Shops that we got from Blind Bags. And they're smaller than your average Littlest Pet Shop. I mean, can you see the size difference? This one I like to use as like a real pet in the doll world, and this would make a perfect, you know, toy for a doll. Then we have Hello Kitty Blind Bags, My Little Pony, and Briars. Now, I know the sign behind it does not say Briars. It says Schleich. And I hope I pronounced that right because I just looked it up on YouTube. <laughs> Schleich. Schleich. I think she said Schleich. Yeah, she said Schleich. Schleich. Briar horses usually come in a big yellow box, and the Schleich comes, you know, not in a box. So I thought I could, you know, get away with it. <laughs> yes? No. We have Mini Palace Pets, Barbie Mega Blocks, Only Hearts Club, a few Hot Wheels I borrowed from Froggy Boy, Tsum Tsums, which are these adorable little stackable plushies. Here we go. See how high we can stack it. I can never get past two. Let's try again. Anyway, every time I go to the Disney store, I, I usually walk out with one. Oh, so close. And we even have little tiny One Direction dolls. We found these at Toys R Us in the clearance bin for 25 cents. Oops, it was a keychain before I removed the part there. Anyway, all we needed was a little toy inside. And look, they're like the perfect size for the little briars. <laughs> hey, wait up. But of course, we cannot do a craft without doing some form of recycling. And that's why the Disney Infinity display is so awesome. Because you don't need to have a billion mini toys to stock your store. You can just make them with magazines and that awesome Toys R Us catalog. This time of year, our mailbox is totally stuffed with flyers and catalogs and all that kind of stuff. Ugh. Oh yeah, this is bad. It's so heavy. Okay. But those catalogs are full of little pictures that are perfect to stock your doll size store. I mean, look at this. I've got an easy bake oven here and little pet shop. Hold on a second. Where are my scissors? More inventory for the shop. So you can totally stock your whole store with realistic items and recycle at the same time. The Legos came out really cute. And then we have this awesome little box here for stuff that doesn't fit on the shelf. Oh, and the Christmas tree. I really enjoy making doll Christmas trees and this has to be one of my favorites. And we just used our simple recycled Christmas tree video, but this time we kind of went a little crazy with the ornaments. Um, these are buttons, and they're super adorable. So we just glued them all over the tree with um, beads and beautiful burlap ribbon and this little plaid here. Burlap is like all the rage this year, so we thought, ooh, burlap and gold, we could be trendy. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but making a toy store is a lot of fun. And then making a toy store that's decorated for Christmas is like, yes! which is why we just had to have the nutcrackers. These are recycled crafts too because they're made of paper towel rolls. And then we just had fun adding a whole bunch of stuff to them to make them look like nutcrackers. And I think they looked they look fantastic. I actually, if I wasn't making this for a doll craft, I could actually use this in my Christmas decorations. Oh, I think I'm talking too fast. And this is why I don't talk like this in the tutorials because I would get excited and talk so fast that nobody would be able to understand what I am saying. So that's why I have to slow down and talk like Baymax. 
Hello, how may I assist you with your crafting today? Okay, back to the shop. Um, the Nutcrackers, I like them. They took a while to paint. It did take a little while to paint, but uh, it was worth it. I mean, they didn't cost hardly anything, so I really like them. I think they look actually good on like a mantelpiece or something. So, um, oh yeah, this whole entire uh, shop is a recycled general store, so that's fantastic. Sometimes your projects no longer work for you or do what you want them to do and so rather than throw everything away and all that hard work and covering all these boxes you we can repurpose them like we did with uh sorry sir like we did with this uh the toy store so the general store is gone yes but now we have the grocery store which is way bigger and holds all pretty much the same stuff all right now did i forget anything oh yeah where did we get the mini shopping bags? So well, we found these at the craft store near the gift bags um, and some Christmas ornaments and like those little tiny cards that they put with your presents. Um, they had these there too. So uh, we found these for our shop. But we do have a video on how to make them if you cannot find them. And to make them is pretty easy too and will cost you most likely a whole lot less than to buy each individual little bag. Just so you know. And on that note, we hope you have as much fun as we did making your own doll toy store. We want to give a shout out to Wizards Forever 12345. What's up?